hello 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 my loves i hope you guys are all well i want to first off say thank you to everyone's lovely messages kind wishes um condolences everything on my last video if you guys watched the last vlog you guys will know that i um lost my grandmother and i flew into burundi um flew into burundi last last week thursday and i came back tuesday it was a short trip i went to say goodbye um to her and my uncle because i wasn't able to go to my uncle's funeral at the time because i was moving it was nice to say goodbye to both of them it was nice being with my parents as well and seeing friends and, and seeing family that was really nice thought it would be better to like talk to you guys this way it was a nice time it was really wholesome and it was it was a beautiful it was beautiful and the send-off was really beautiful so i'm really happy with how everything went i'm so so glad i got to go i got loads of questions asking if i was going to vlog the trip i I think you know what if it was like I was there for a longer time then yes I probably could have made something but I was there for a short time and the circumstances of course I just did it really want to get my camera out um I'm sure you guys can understand and um, my, my, my parents are like are you gonna vlog I'm like I just there wasn't too much to vlog because I was there for such a short time but yeah it was really nice when I go back there next time then I can do a nice vlog um today I've got a really exciting day I am at the Novi Hotel um for tonight with the Brits and I'm going with Maybelline they've kindly 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 invited me and decked out my hotel room I will be getting into this robe immediately immediately i thought let's just do a get ready with me vlog style do the get ready the event after everything in the next morning and we can recap i thought that'd be quite fun um i have a tiny camera i don't know if you guys watch avon's vlogs she has like a small compact camera and i bought it and i just forget to bring it and use it because it'll be really great to capture that on my camera in my bag anyway i'll have to do that on my phone the last vlog, my lips were so dry. And I used a really nasty lip balm, which gave me like white bits around my lips. Was it lip balm? Lip gloss. I really like the um, nude sticks. This is like, this is really, really nice. If you like the road lip, that feel, you'll like the nude sticks. And if you like it without the grainy effect, you'll like this as well. You'll like this. Why am I out of breath? What's going on? That sounds cool. smells so good. It smells amazing. Hey guys, so I had some lunch. I am with Annabelle, if you hear Hello. someone in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting my makeup done again. I don't know who I think I am. But um, yeah, getting my makeup done by India K Makeup. We shall see what the glam gives. I've really done my outfit. I'm doing an all white look tonight, so it should be fun um the material is very thin so i hope it just doesn't give too much away the lunch is so filling i just feel like i need to sit down i might even have my legs up because like it gets rid of bloat yeah <laughs> yeah should you say literally oh no please you don't need to no. but i definitely I... need to oh my gosh i can i can get bloated just by looking at food anyway we'll come back when i'm getting my glam done and for the finished look do you mind being in my vlog or? I don't mind. Okay, cool. I'm a bit shy, <laughs> Here's India getting me glam. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, this is the before. The lighting is so good with that. Oh my gosh. Yes, nice. Perfect. I would if my hair looked like this, I would I would cut it in an instant. I wouldn't even think twice. Oh, yes. But honey hand. Yeah. How well? She's amazing. But I could tell it was her before yeah. even like yeah. checking She knows that what she's doing. Literally. Hello guys, let me turn off the music. We are done. The glam is giving. I love it with the hair as well. And this outfit is from House of Studios, a top and skirt. I feel really pretty. I feel really like angelic almost. And then my shoes are from Saint, Ro Saint Laurent. 
got them in Vista, I thought I could add a bit of texture. I never get to wear them, so I'm excited to actually finally wear them out. And uh, yeah, we took some pictures, absolutely love it. I'm gonna head off to the event, and I'll probably vlog on my phone, anyway. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. I thought it would be nice to like sit here, have some breakfast, talk to you guys, answer some of your questions. It's the morning after the Brits. I feel, to be honest, I feel good. I'm just having some breakfast. I literally got some eggs. To be honest, they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but oh well. Breakfast in bed, it just looks a bit chaotic for me. I usually have a dining table, but there wasn't anywhere to position you guys. So I just thought I'll just eat on the bed. But yeah, the Brits was really good. It was a fun time. All the girls are cute, all the Maybelline girls. We had fun. The show was good. My Jama was good, Rama was good, Ray was good. Who else? I really liked Ray's performance. And I really liked Rama's performance. Dua Lipa opened the show, Dula Peep. She was really good, really, really good. Her performance was amazing. And then I was like, oh, I'm oh, gonna go to the after party. Like the party's finished and you leave it too long to go to the after party or sort something else after. It kills the vibe for me, it kills it. So then I just, I just stayed in. Mind you, we still got in late. I got in around like, hmm, I want to say midnight, almost one. And I was like, I don't think an after party is happening for me. Yesterday, uh, was also my first day of having a drink again. I just stuck to champagne. I think I'm a champagne girl. Low calories, tastes good, and it keeps me on, on, on it keeps me on a nice wave. I don't take it too far, so I think. The wedding's coming as well. I think I'm going to be a champagne girl for the wedding day. Wine, mm, wine can get me a bit tired, a bit fatigued. Maybe I can even have too many emotions, but champagne's a nice, consistent feel. Um, there's one I really, really like this. I need to find the name of it. I love croissant. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm just gonna have the rest of my cup of tea whilst I look out the window. <laughs> Do you guys remember my last vlog? I think it's like not the one, the last one, the one before that was after. Anyway, I, um, I had my cousin, my vlog, Nathan, and we were talking, he was telling me all his favorite like things, favorite people to watch on YouTube, that type of stuff. And he mentioned the Sidemen. So I, always, I told him if I ever see them, I'm gonna FaceTime you. On the way out from the Brits to the O2, I saw Toby from the Sidemen and I was like, oh my gosh, I have this in my moment, I need to FaceTime Nathan. <laughs> and I spoke to him and I told him, I was like, my mate, my but, um, my cousin Nathan is such a fan, do you mind if I FaceTime him? I was like, yeah, sure, it was really nice, really humble. Um, yeah, so we FaceTime him, he was over the moon. Over the moon. I'm so glad I got to do that for him. Because I was like, I really, really want to see, because I didn't see them at all last year. I wasn't in any of the spaces so when I saw him. I was like, perfect amazing it's a perfect opportunity and lucky he was awake because uh, it was like 11 o'clock at night hopefully his mom doesn't see this <laughs> but yeah facetime him and he was really really nice he even forgot to get a screenshot luckily i screenshotted it wasn't a great screenshot but i screenshotted so he could show his friends but the whole time he was just like <laughs> and i was like please nathan take a screenshot so you have this for memory and proof hello up my story um earlier this week send me some questions i'll answer them 
we can go through some stuff update you guys because i haven't done that in a while and fully from next week get back into full-on weekly vlogs which i'm really excited for oh i got a question from zib meet and greet eyes or masterclass session soon you know what guys i'm not gonna lie i had a meeting with my um like management my manager um this week over potentially doing something in the uk london sometime this year now i want this to be a reoccurring thing we had a zoom call just to brainstorm some ideas and bounce off of each other um and i definitely wanted to have something where it's what's the word um interactive yeah interactive that we're we're all enjoying because i just find that just coming to meet me what well, we just say like, like the shortest small talk maybe get a picture and then that's it it's quite lackluster for me it's anticlimactic for me so i want to do something where i know it's fun it's enjoyable it's inclusive um yeah only thing is though it's not going to be international i'm so sorry and it's not going to be national i'm really really sorry again but for now it'll probably be sorry for now it'll probably be, be something in london um so yeah if you guys have any ideas because i'd love for us to meet up do something have fun um yeah share your ideas with me i have a few in the locker you will find out about them soon 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 it's coming but yeah i was just like i'll also give you guys opportunity to like share your ideas because once again i want to make this a reoccurring thing so um share any ideas you might have please and hopefully i'll see you guys this year advice for someone entering their 20s it's not to have it all figured out it's it's literally learning trying to it's trials and tribulations i find 20s are your trials and tribulations and i've heard that the 30s is where it's really at so yeah trials and tribulations in your 20s don't take anything too seriously realistic way to deal with the breakup that actually hurt you uh you need to go through all the emotions you need to heal you need to heal and the healing whether you like it or not it's going to take time it's going to take time and it's going to be painful there's nothing smooth sailing about it but you need to trust your instinct trust that you did the right thing by breaking up with a person and um, that's actually hurt you and stick to that don't relapse please don't relapse you just only prolong hurt so try and distance as much as you can take your time with it but understand it's not gonna be nice it's not gonna be hunky-dory and you will come out the other side if you really st stick to being disciplined and putting yourself first over the person that hurt you how was it buying a new house with the love of your life are you enjoying the process it was oh buying a new house it was it was difficult because of my situation because i'm not um because i'm self-employed so it was a it was a different hurdle to go through um it wasn't as smooth as just showing three months salary you have to show a lot um for them to believe that you um you can buy a house for us it was smooth sailing lots of houses we got turned down in the end because a lot of people offered more but and i feel like we got the house that was best for us in the end i'm very very happy looking at all the houses we looked at i'm happy we landed on the one we landed with and for me i'm not gonna lie ade was a massive help <laughs> gosh there were times i'll just be like absolutely clueless but he'll be able to figure it out for me take take control take the lead on a lot of things he took the lead with most of it which was really helpful for me because it was just it was really overwhelming like it really shouldn't be that difficult to buy a house but unfortunately it is sometimes but we got there in the end and i'm happy so it was good to have someone i trust someone i can depend on reliable and um the process itself was rocky but you have to stay truthful and you don't give up i said i feel like you mentioned this but where's sabo from again that's actually my middle name so i mentioned this before um i mean my full name's isabella my full name's isabella sabo <clears throat> but no one really calls me my full name apart from family and like old school friends so yeah bella and then um, michelle i actually just had i had it from ages i've had it from like when i was like on facebook like a teenager um and i just did it so no one could find me on facebook and then it just kind of that name just stuck like bella michelle just stuck 
and then I just kept to it but now I'm like you know what everyone's found me everyone knows who I am so I'm like I might, I might as well just go back to my actual name Bella Sabo because some people also thought that was like my marital name um no I'm not changing that online legally I'll change his name but online it'll just stay Bella Sabo so yeah no I'm not married yet I just decided to have a rebrand because I feel like my actual name just sounds a lot better. <laughs> anyway, I hope that answers everything. How tall are you? I get this question often, you know. I get some people think I look shorter in real life. A lot of, a lot of people think I look short in real life. I'm 5'6". I think that's average. I feel like I'm not short, but I'm not tall. My dream height is 5'8". Love that height. I just think 5'8". 5'9 as well is really nice. I just like tall women. Tall women just look... It's just an elegance without even trying. I love it. Do you feel like you missed out on anything being in a relationship in early 20s? No. No. Um, dating. I feel like I've lived through my friends, so I kind of know what the dating world is like. Um, and no, I don't wish to be a part of it. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Um, but I'm happy for my friends. I'm dating it, figuring it out, learning as you should, which is what you should in your, be doing in your 20s. But I'm happy with my person. I'm happy I found them early. I didn't expect to find them early. I wasn't looking for love. I wasn't looking for a husband at 19. Let me tell you that. I really wasn't. It taught me to really appreciate my man. Let me say that. The streets are scary. It's, it, if you have a good man, please lean into it. Don't be fooled by the dating life and outside and the grass is greener. If you have a good man, stick with that good man. There is nothing for you out in these streets. I'm telling you. In my 20s, I'm just, I'm happy I have like a good bunch of friends and we create so many memories. I have a really good career and I experience so much career-wise, career friendships. I still travel, take myself on holidays. I still do things for myself. I lived by myself. That was one thing I needed. I told you, I told everyone I needed to live. And I said, I'm going to splash all my cash and I'm going to live somewhere really, really nice and these will be my core memories forever. And they are, so I'm glad I did that. That was my biggest checklist. I just said, even if we live together right now, I'm living together because I can't really afford to live by myself. The minute I can afford to live by myself, living by myself. So I lived with Ade, lived by myself, and back with Ade again. So it worked, it worked out the way it was meant to. Did you say yes to the dress? Guys, have I even found a dress? Have I found a, have I found a dress? No, I haven't. We go again this year. I will take you along with me. We go again. Um, fingers crossed, guys. I was thinking, do I want to make a custom dress? I don't think I even... I don't think I even want to go down that route because, God forbid, I don't like it. Like, what do you do if you don't like your dress? Yeah, I, that, that's an absolute fit. So I'd rather have a made-to-order, try it on, absolutely love it and then tweak that to make it a bit more personalised and custom to myself. How has living with Addy affected your relationship? To my relationship, it hasn't really affected it. We've lived together before, so it's kind of like back to new. Only thing is now is I just, vlogging at home, I'll be so honest, it's a bit, I don't know how to go about it because I'm not living by myself, so I can't just take the camera everywhere with me, you know? So I'm still trying to navigate how to vlog at home and still, yeah, I'm trying to work that bit out. I'm trying to work that bit out, I'll be honest. I haven't figured that part out. Living together is fine, we're absolutely fine. We have like a, a system, we know our system, we work for it well. Um, but yeah, vlogging at home is interesting. But I think it's because I haven't sorted out my beauty room, but like I said, I'm doing a loft, a, lo a roof extension next year. So I'm like, I don't want to get my room too done up for it to all be knocked down next year. So I'm just, in, it's just a weird funk. That's the only weird funk of it right now is my loft extension. Once that's done, then it's like, okay, I can film in different rooms. Right now it's just like in the same place. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> when is your wedding day? I'm getting loads of questions, guys, you guys know. I'm, I'm not that open with like dates and things and places. It'll just be, I'll say in the summer. Yeah, in the summer, it's coming soon. It's summer, I'm getting married this year in the summer. That's all I can share for you. But the actual date, you'll have to see, but you'll know. The lead up will kind of be a bit obvious. So you'll know, 
it's just I'm not saying it before it's happening but yeah finding the process I'll be honest I'm finding it stressful I'm having a traditional wedding engagement in the UK and then a destination white wedding the destination white wedding is a difficult bit the UK one is almost it's getting sorted it's about like 70% done the destination wedding is about I'd say it's about 55% done still a way to go because it's abroad so it's a lot harder to kind of work out but we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> fingers crossed and how's wedding planning whilst trying to incorporate two different cultures any tips you can give I'll give them once it's done because then I can give tips reflecting back but in the moment I can't give tips because I need to figure out how this is going to work first as well but once it's done then I can come back having good coordinators having people in the industry that kind of know what they're doing decor team people with experience um, I haven't figured it out myself. I've taken tips and tricks and advice from a lot of people. But yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for you guys' questions. These are really, really good questions. There are more. I think as I continue weekly vlogging, I can answer more questions naturally. So um, stay tuned. I'm very excited. I'm going to start posting videos every Sunday. I'm going to try to stick to stun Sunday because I like putting on Sunday. Let me love you and leave you guys. I'm going to clean up my room and pack up and I shall speak to you guys when I'm ready and headed out.